Right then, hello and welcome back to Scania Truck Driving Simulator, the game. Uh, last time we completed the driver competition and before that we got our driving license. Now we're moving on to the main meat of the game, so to speak. It is the dangerous drives, which have a lot of interesting scenarios to, you know, test your skill and what you've learnt through the driver competitions and of course the driving license as well, most of which I absolutely suck at. So, the first event in this one, or scenario is the road of death uh, there are roads with an international reputation for being dangerous roads which test the driver to the limit uh, roads where it's not just about reaching the destination with undamaged cargo but making it alive and in one piece see they they give you like a life and death uh, situation um, i've already tested some of these as well in the testing account um, so yeah let's get started with the first one the dreaded road of death Ooh, sounds very ominous doesn't it uh, so, uh, get your tractor and trailer to the destination safely. I think we will. Right. Start the engine. And we'll get going, shall we? Come on. Pull away. Clutch out. Now i got to be careful. got to look in the mirrors on both sides just to make sure... I'm not going to clout into any of the obstacles. Put it into fourth gear. Seem to be alright so far. Got bloody helicopter flying overhead as well, just checking up on our progress. Whack it into third. It's got to be very careful. You don't realise that some of these rock faces and the rock slides, they jut out a little bit and they can. Just nick your uh, trailer when you're going past them. Right, back into third. Very careful. Even touching these bollards can uh, just ruin everything. Doing well so far. Uh, this can be a bit tricky. Probably get a warning for this one. Uh, no, we just about made it through. I was hoping to let the engine break for me then. But that didn't work right. This is going to be a little bit treacherous. Oh, this is worrisome. Ah, uh, yeah. Touch the bollard and the touch another bollard. Ugh. Not the end of the world. Okay, made it through that. Got to swing it out wide. And then do the same for this side as well. See, it's a bit disorientating because you don't know how far the left side of the cab is over the line or over the edge of the cliff. So you've just got to literally play it by ear. And again, this is why I will never be hired as a lorry driver for Sainsbury's or Tesco, and I've clipped aside again. Bloody hell. See, really, I just tap the uh, the trailer tire with the uh, the barrier there, the, uh, the block. But they still give you a warning for it. Even though in real life that wouldn't really do much damage, that would just, you know, scrape the tire along the side of the uh, the concrete block. But almost at the end. And unfortunately it wasn't a flawless drive, but it was a drive nonetheless. And there we go. And cross the line. So yeah, collision with stuff around. Minus 400 points, so we got 100 points on that one. Um, what is my best for that one? Hold on. 
go to the challenge list. My best is 400. So, yeah, not great. Okay, embankment. The main road is, uh, or the main road out is under repair. Uh, there is no choice but to use the passage along the riverside. It's not going to be easy. This alternative route certainly wasn't meant for trucks. No, it certainly wasn't. This one, actually, I found this one not too bad. This one was actually quite simple. Okie dokie. Reverse a truck back from the closed road. Yeah, that's simple enough. And what else? Drive carefully along the route on the riverbank. Okay, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Back in reverse. Stick our noggin out the window. say about here is fine cool uh, we'll stick our hazards on as well just to let nobody know that we're maneuvering this road so it's a case of looking in your mirrors constantly which is a shame that your eyes don't move independently from one another because then you could just stare at both mirrors at the same time which would be very handy in some of the scenarios coming up but so far so good yeah we're okay don't hit anything Think we're alright. Don't hit the barrier. No, we're good. Got a little bit of wiggle room. No, we're gonna hit something. Have a gut feeling. Yeah, we're gonna hit that. Are we? Eh, just scrape through. Oh, God, that is tight. Tight, tight, tight. Okay, we're still good. Now this way. No, we are going to hit that. Yeah, there we go. I knew I was going to hit something. Oh, that's a pain in the backside. Had I gone the other way, I think we should have been all right. Right, which way am I going? We are going right. There we go. So that wasn't too bad, apart from hitting the uh, the, uh, the the wooden pallets. We were fine, uh, but yeah, collision wood stuff. We got minus two hundred points, so three hundred points. For that one which is the best we've got because uh, on my testing account I didn't actually complete that challenge okay the flood um, the city is in serious trouble due to heavy rainfall in the nearby mountains part of the city report food and emergency supply shortages uh, this flooded area is deemed safe enough to pass with maximum care try getting supplies to where they're needed most so yes yeah, just driving through a massive flood which, this one, actually, testing this one wasn't too bad either. So, transport the rescue material across the flood zone. And anything else? Anything else? Uh, watch out for debris left behind by the flood wave. Okay. Right. Let's get a move on, shall we? Uh, which way we go? Oh, it is this way. Okay, I was, I was a bit concerned then. I was wondering where we were supposed to be going. But yeah, this one isn't too bad. You just gotta be very wary of the fact that there's bits of wood and... As you can see, debris that is poking out of the uh, 
little river, so you've got to be careful not to whack anything. And that siren continues throughout. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Imagine if Tesco did something similar to this. I mean, they're bloody useless at delivering your food at the best of times on the correct time. That's a cope with this, uh, nothing would ever get done. I am taking this rather slowly, but... Slow and steady wins the race. Not a good. Clear on both sides. Am I going the right way? Which, actually, which is the correct way? Is that right down there? Uh, or do I have to go that way? I'm going to assume I have to go to the left. Yes, okay. And that is the end. So, there you go. That challenge is incredibly easy. In fact, this one should have been the first challenge. But, oh well. So we get a maximum score then. 500 points. New personal best. Challenge complete and exterior camera not used. So, yeah. That is the best score you can get on that one. Right, rock concert. This one, if I remember correctly, is a bit dodgy. Uh, so we'll do two more. We'll do them in groups of five. So we'll do the rock concert and then the GPS problem afterwards. So what does this have to say then? Once it loads. Oh my god, that bloody hell, that's loud. Jesus. Uh, while some people are having fun, other people have to work hard. Uh, this is just a case. In the backstage area, there is already a trailer full of sound equipment urgently expecting at the next tour location. Hurry, you can enjoy the music some other time. Jesus Christ, that is loud. Bloody hell. Right. Oh. Hold on. Is there a, a way to turn down that music? Because that literally deafened me. That was awful. Uh, master volume music. Music volume is almost at the end. Okay. God, that is loud. I'm going to have to turn that down. Bloody hell. Right, where are we going then? Sounds like something you'd hear from Destruction Derby. Oh. Oh, we have to go all the way around. Okay, I've, I've made a pig's ear of this, so that music is really putting me off. So I'm going to have to do that again. Oh my god, that music is incredibly, incredibly loud. Right. Start the engine. The music is right down, so no way should the music be that bloody loud. That is really, really bad. Unless I expect you to have, um... I don't know, put the master volume all the way down, I'm not sure. Right, let's just get this thing turned around. Gonna we'll have to do our three-point turn. Like so... Straighten up the driver's head, which would help. Don't clout anything. Okay, good. And now we just gotta reverse back. See the indicator that everything needs to be aligned. And then connect the trailer with T. Come on, give me the trailer. There we go. Uh, 
Hold on. Which is the... No, that's my... There we go. Had the wrong uh, button set. Right, off we go. That music really is just friggin' terrible. Oh, yeah, we're gonna get a penalty straight away. Or not. Okay, we just literally... Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, I was gonna say, we just literally scraped through with that, but no. Oh, wait, was that it? Wow, okay. Big challenge, so we got minus 100, but that's fine. Christ, th that music, terrible. Uh, so we're tied on the best score with that one, but oh well. Right, it must be, have been the GPS error. Uh, you took a wrong turn, and now there's no way to e extricate yourself out of this, but to pass through the little village ahead. Find a way back to the main road and continue your delivery. Sounds like a typical day in uh, Sainsbury's, really. Okay, so we'll call this the last trial then. Uh, take the one-way road to the center of the village. Oh, they spelt center correctly. That's nice. Anything else? And uh, you need to pass through an old street along the city walls. Mm. Nice. Right, so this one shouldn't be too bad. Put hazards on, like always. And we'll get a move on. So the, the biggest problem that I have with this stage is the uh, the bollards that seem to get in the way. Just got to keep an eye on the left-hand side mirror. Moving this away. Again, this could be taken a lot faster, but I am rather cautious when it comes to these types of challenges, because I don't want to hit any bollards or anything like that. Oh, uh, I'm going to tap that bollard. Ooh, just scraped past. Bloody hell. Ooh, all right. And again, it's, it's hard to see how close you are on the left-hand side. We've got plenty of wiggle room. Right, this is a trouble spot. Oh, speed bump. Don't worry about that too much. See, it's the plastic bollards that are on the right-hand side. Ooh. Again, we want to take a wider berth. Uh, we should clear that. Yeah, just about. Oh, stalled the engine. Put it in second. I straighten it up. Oh, don't hit the tractor on the left. Ooh. Come on. Suck your gut in. Get through. Atta boy. There we go. That was easy. Not. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We've got more speed bumps to navigate. That's fine. What kind of weird ass village is this? You got tractors parked everywhere. People who double park with bloody golfs and stuff. Are we there yet? Not quite. I hope I've gone the right way. And is this the end? No, we're not done yet. Oh my god. Okay. Stick it back in the third. Um, now this one's going to be a little bit tighter. Just keep an eye on the bollards on the left side. 
This is all clutch control. Okay, we're good. Oh, he's getting close to the wall there. No, don't scrape it. Ah, no. Oh, come on, get off. It was going so bloody well. I bet this is the last part now as well. Oh, I hit the wall on the other side as well. Yeah, it's fine. Bloody cliffs jutting out all over the place. Yeah, that was the end. God damn it. So I doubt we'll get any score on this one at all because all our score has been deducted from hitting the bloody wall. Yeah, no points. Well, that is a bit bollocks then, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, that was the first five challenges done. I'll probably take on that challenge again uh, when we resume. Um, but yeah, there we go. That is the... Uh, the dangerous drives portion so five down and many more to go so uh, yeah i'm gonna leave it here for now thank you very much for watching as always and uh we'll continue to see how badly i drive these lorries around country lanes next time so thanks for watching take care stay safe and bye for now